I don't know about you, but my Twitch chat loves to play words on stream. If you don't know what that is, going to WOS.GG will bring you here and you can log in with your Twitch account. Basically, your Twitch chat will be able to solve an anagram, a bunch of letters jumbled together, and they need to find as many words as they can. The way it works is super simple. You go to the little cogwheel top right, you copy the link and add it to OBS as a browser source and start the game. And chat can figure out some word. I think Regal would be one now. Regal. And as you can see, my name appears here. But here's my biggest problem, the format. Right now, it looks great on a starting soon screen, especially when you're starting out, you want chat to start being active, you want to give them something. It's also probably great on a be right back screen. I could probably place it here. Boom, easy clap. My specific problem is that I want to be able to do my regular just chatting streams and still have it available somewhere, which means the format just doesn't match. For example, this is my regular just chatting scene. On the right here, I have a space for my chat box, here for goals and sponsors. And if I want my chat to be playing words on stream all the time, I would have to add it like this. Of course, you would say, hey, just bring it down a little bit, just like that. But here we're getting into the territory of we can't see. We probably can't see the names. We probably can't see some of the stuff. And it's just, I don't know, it's awkward. It's really awkward. It would be awesome if I could have it just vertical, right? Just like I have this sidebar, it would be great if I had it like this. So your first instinct might be, hey, let's set it to vertical. It's, you know, 2024. Everything is responsive. So if you put it in that format, it will probably rearrange itself, right? So here, let me put it 720 by 1280. So it's 720p flipped and click OK. And this is what we get. So that's my big issue is that it doesn't rearrange itself. <laughs> It just gives you this, which you can't really work with unless, all right, let me stop teasing you. Let me show you the actual result. And this is what I came up with. This is what I have right now. This is what I use for my stream. And it's been great. It's been pretty amazing. <laughs> So what you're seeing here is basically custom CSS that has been added into OBS. And of course, game over is pretty much like kind of full screen. Uh, the animation, the three, two, one go is also full screen like this. And if you're not restarting, it takes like a minimum amount of space. Everything that needs to be visible is very clear, very demure. <laughs> but yeah, let me show you what I added into OBS studio to make that happen. And uh, this is it. Just a couple lines of code, which will be provided in the description. Check out the description for the code. Basically, you can copy paste this. Also, make sure you have the same width and height as me, which right now is 607 for the width by 1080 for the height. And there you go. You just keep that browser source and all you have to do is replace the link every time because sometimes, you know, you have to reconnect. And as you can see here, sometimes it, it gives you more words and you can see they all fit. All of it fits. So I'm really trying to play this while I'm recording the video, but those are hard, man. <laughs> now, of course, teach a man how to fish. I'm going to show you the process, like how I came up with this. No, I'm not a genius. No, I pretty much don't really know how to code or I'm not really super familiar with it. I can't just improvise. This was all basically Google search. So if you're a pro, you can copy my code and you can improve it. Uh, actually give me tips in the comment section. It will be awesome. And if you're not a pro, well, good news. You can do it too. If I can do it, you can do it. Uh, sale. Yes. <laughs> so first things first, from the website, I went and copied the link. And something I like to do with browser source links like that is just open a new tab and paste the link in there, right? So it's basically, this is what appears in OBS. And then I'm going to press F12 and bring this little thing. You can format it. I just set it like that because I wanted to see how it resizes, right? And then from there, all I had to do is figure out what's what. And we can see here, the first piece of code is root content top. And the way I figured that out, is by clicking on that little thing right here to inspect element and then checking out the different parts. Of course, this is a game, so basically the code will change a little bit. You have different divs that will appear and disappear. So for example, here I need to restart the game because I wasn't interested in anything else just when the game is on, like right now, okay? So now I can see like the big container is basically content top and then I can see that header is separate. There's also div content. There's also div middle. And then there's a different div for the answers. And then there's a different like cell for each row, for each column of answers. So I could work with that. So what you do here is basically click and then um, you can either see the HTML here. For example, we're in the div root. 
We can see content top. And if you hover over that to it, it'll show you what. I can um, expand this content top and then I see content and I see QR code and I can click on QR code, for example, and I can see the CSS under styles at the bottom here. I basically copy this code, play around with it. If there's a specific thing that I want to do, I would just look it up on Google, type CSS. How do I make something disappear? CSS disappear. You know, you want to add a border, CSS border. And then you just add that in those lines like that. So what I did with content top is basically move it up, right? So that's why you see me put the line margin top minus 960. Okay. Then root content, I changed the background to be transparent. So I put RGBA 000, the 40 zero is the transparency. And that is that light color of the background here. I also removed the border from this. So that's what that is. And then root content room middle answer. <laughs> this is where I put flex direction column. And that's what gave me the three cells in a column as opposed to I'm doing gestures and you can see me in a column as opposed to uh, in a row. <laughs> I didn't play around with the margin. It's basically gonna be the margin between like the top here and the little uh, locks. Then I had to mess with the height until I was satisfied. This is basically what's gonna make the whole thing, the whole answer part like larger so it can accommodate those three cells. Then root content room middle answer column. That's also a div that takes all three answer cells into account. So you can put, if you want something to affect all three of them, you put it there. So I put a margin of 10 pixels in between them. So even if it's full, like it's not really going to touch each other. And this was the weird one for me that you guys can probably help me. After doing all this, my answers were still pretty small and I needed to zoom in. So I added a zoom, a 2.1 times zoom to each answer to give it that final look. I was trying to figure out how to do it, but I think like I would have to play with the size of everything and also the text size could have been complicated. And I was like, oh, just take the cell and zoom in. Uh, here we have root content, room, middle, answer, type three. This is basically the third row. It wasn't centered for some reason. As soon as I put it in a column like that, it was like all the way to the side. So I put align self center and that worked. And then finally, I put a QR code, the div for the QR code. I put visibility hidden. I didn't show the QR code here. Now, I don't know if I'm allowed to do that because technically like I am hiding parts of the code of things. So if there's, a, if there's an issue and people from Words on Stream are watching this, please let me know. Okay, don't sue me directly. Please reach out to me and be like, hey, you can't play our game and maybe I can't even change the code. That would be weird, but okay. Now here's the thing. After doing all that, yours is still not going to look like this because we removed the background color of this part, right? That lighter background with the border and stuff. We didn't remove that purple in the back. So what I did was I added a filter. So right click filter and I used a color key. So I went select color. Well, let me turn it off to see what it actually looks like. So this is basically the, the portrait mode of words on stream. So with this code, you copy paste, this is what you're going to get. Okay. But to me, it wasn't enough. It was obstructing a little too much from my just chatting scene. Uh, if I'm showing off something, I still want to be able to, you know, to, to show it off. And it was taking a little too much space, right? So color key, I added that and I went uh, custom color, color key type, custom color. So it's not always, you know, green screen. It's like any color you want to key out, you can. And then select color. I went pick screen color and then I clicked on the purple and gave me the perfect purple. And from there, I played around with the similarity, the smoothness. There you go. It's not completely perfect because you can see like some of the words are a little too transparent, but overall during streams, it's not an issue at all. It, it, it actually works really well. And if you're curious, the user defined shader here was because I wanted rounded rectangles, uh, well, a rounded rectangle as a mask because I didn't know I was going to add the color key yet, but I left it on because in between games, as you can see, since it's full screen, it can still you know, match the vibe of my whole stream and everything is rounded, like as you can see. So yeah, as I said, copy paste. If you have any issues, <laughs> honestly, like hopefully this explanation will tell you step by step. Okay, what's wrong, what you can add, how you can customize it. I know that I had like a mistake. At some point, the game went to like level four or something and there were more words and they weren't fitting. And like, I would say, reduce the zoom in that case, if that happens. But again, if you're a CSS expert, give us the tips, give us the juicy tips in the comment section, okay? Ooh, tilt. Let's go. Toilet. Let's go. Tile. Let's go. <laughs> Anyways, if you want to see it live, come follow me on Twitch and I'll see y'all next time.